Okay, now it's finally the last vlog. I think it was two or three vlogs ago when I said that, so those were false alarms. And now we're at the actual very last one. So let's make it good. All right, so um, in reflecting on the semester in this course, let's see. I think my skills um, as a close reader definitely improved. And I say that I don't mean any offense to any other teachers of mine watching, but um, this class and then Stevens 210 were the only classes in my career here really where I was pushed really, really hard in close reading. And um, I really appreciate that because I think it's a skill I'm pretty good at and then in every other class I wasn't pushed as hard so I feel like it didn't really grow and then having this class again um, another class with Stephen who is so insistent on you know close read go back to the passage tell me where you see that it's really helpful and it helped me um, you know my personal reading and reading for other classes and you know being disciplined with myself um, because I kind of not really stopped close reading but I got a little more lazy with it in other classes I think because it was okay um, so I'm glad that I had the challenge let's see um, something that really stuck with me that we learned in this course this semester was how um, style informs character so that was in like play it as it lays um, when we were looking at the way in which certain passages were written and then the things we knew about Mariah and how those were parallel and like reflecting each other and then both of like even if you know in a passage the content was implicitly or indirectly characterizing her um, the actual like grammatical and syntactical style of that passage was also doing it and I think that's one of the coolest things because it's like, it makes sense, but I'd never thought about it, and I found myself um, doing that in other books since then. So that's one thing that's like really, really helpful, and just another like layer for me to investigate in the future when I read, looking at style and, and determining if, you know, it has a broader implication um, than what I initially think. I need to go back to the questions. So, I think I've grown as a reader and how I just said I'm paying attention to more things, um, one of those being style, and um, applying it across different books I'm reading and even, you know, poetry and nonfiction. Um, and just being aware of, like, how everything can impact you know what's going on it doesn't just have to be what the author writes on the page but how the author writes it on the page and so that's something that is invaluable for moving forward in an English related field um, as a writer I think just writing clearly and um, concisely so the one page papers even though I did you know expand the margins and like make the lines facing one point and like make my font size 10 I was still working within a limitation it wasn't like write 10 pages and then that gets really hard um, in terms of just like repeating yourself and everything but like learning how to write concisely and to the point and not using like too much flowery language that doesn't really um, forward your argument I think that's really helpful um, so that and then just thinker I feel like and this happened after 210 also um, I'm just like so much more critical of everything I read and I'm critical of myself and how I speak um, and myself um, critical of myself and how I write and just making sure I don't say words that are unnecessary or um, don't advance what I'm trying to say or help it so not saying um, extremely if it doesn't make sense to say extremely or something like that but just being more aware of my speech and how that um, 
even though no one's close reading my speech, I don't think, just making sure what I say is, like, reflective of what I'm actually thinking and not just, you know, saying big words to make it sound smarter or something, for example. So those have all changed a little bit, which is good. I think there was one more question. Oh, so reading novels in the future, I'm just going to keep all this in mind, like paying attention to all different, you know, everything that we look at when we're close reading, um, but also knowing when to step back and say like, okay, maybe I don't need to close read every word on this page, but I can, you know, like with the Swamp Book, I can check in every 20 pages or so and see how I'm doing. And another thing is just how a novel can be doing something, you know, with a broad structure rather than just, you know, a paragraph. Um, so looking at, you know, how the chapters are laid out, if there are chapters, like, you know, much broader things, and how that relates to the content, the characters, to everything like that. So, I mean, novels are my favorite thing to read, and I'm really glad I took this course because it taught me a lot about what novels can do. Um, and I'm grateful for that. So I hope everyone has a great summer and life. <laughs> I'll see you all later.